Good evening, everyone. I'm Reverend Richard Burdick, and it's my pleasure and my blessing to welcome you into this moment. Unity North has a regular Wednesday night meditation. For the next 25 to 30 minutes, we're going to journey together. We're going to journey into the sanctuary of our inner being, a place of quiet and a place of stillness. You may be watching this meditation live on Wednesday night. You may be watching it many days after we've we broadcast this meditation. Whenever you happen to be watching it, I'm going to invite you to give yourself the gift of not popping in and out, but staying fully present to the miracle of this now moment. There is no time in God. There is no distance in God. And so we can join in a spiritual place together as brothers and sisters in the oneness that is all creation, that is God. Tonight, we're going to talk about perspectives. And I invite you to bring all the perspectives you have about anything into this moment and then be willing to suspend them, to set them down. You know, Wayne Dyer once said, I think he was quoting Max Planck, you change the way you look at things. The things that you look at change. And I'm asking each of us to open up a possibility this evening that when we can shift our perspective or simply invite in a different perspective, open a corner of our mind to a different way of looking at things, of focusing at things, and just being present to whatever happens to be up in the field of our lives, that we create a possibility for more God to be revealed, for more peace, for more good to be revealed. And that's what the foundation of the meditation will be tonight. I invite you when we get into the silence to resist the urge to be distracted wherever you happen to be, to check out and then pop back in, but to give yourself the gift of this moment in time, this brief moment, this oasis in time, to be fully present, to give yourself uh, an enriching, beautiful time of recognizing the God of your being, the God of your perspectives, and the God of other perspectives. So take a deep breath with me. You know, every meditation begins and ends with that breath. And so let's just release anything that would keep us from being present. Wherever you happen to be, any distractions around you, set them aside. Any thoughts that you brought into this moment, you know, they'll be there when you want them. Any tension, if you want it when we're done, you can pick it back up. But right now, I invite you to set it down. And once again, breathe with me. Allow the music to breathe with you. And on the exhale, close your outer eyes as you set aside those distractions and become fully present to the miracle of right now. We are uniting in heart and mind and spirit, in breath and in truth. Take another deep breath and allow your body to become fully and completely relaxed. Ah. <sighs> a place of comfort, a place of stillness, a place of quiet, a sanctuary of God essence and God being. Change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. And so bring into the sanctuary of this time and place all the views you have of life, all the thoughts that you have of your life or this earthly existence. Breathe them in and then breathe them out, knowing that at any given moment, the story of those perspectives, the view and the focus and the attention has served you. But at any given moment on our growing path, there comes a time when maybe a new perspective needs to be invited. And I invite you into that moment as you allow your, your breath to calm your mind. Allow your breath to calm your body. Feel every cell of your being right now in a state of peace. Feel that spirit filling your soul. You are a radiating center of God being, of God magnificence, 
you are the veritable center of love. Breathe that in to all of the opinions of life, all the views of life in this moment. Let yourself be love. Let yourself be love. Love knows only to love. That's it. Let yourself know love and love alone. It is receptive as you. Love as you is open, is vulnerable, is flexible. Love as you is the sanctuary of oneness. Feel that. Breathe that. Know that. Express that. Let us together experience that in a brief moment of silence. Anais Nin once said, we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. Love is a lens. Anger can be a lens. Frustration or sadness, celebration, oneness, these are all lenses through which we view the world. Choose the lens of love tonight and allow that to be the lens that you look through in every area of your life. Allow your position, allow your perspective to be one or maybe thoughts that you've thought before can be set down and love can be the only dynamic here. If you and I were to sit down with an object between us, you would describe what you saw on your side, and I would describe what I saw on my side. Each one of us would not be totally right in our description. Say it's a globe between us. And each one of us would not be totally wrong from our perspective. When looking through the lens of love, we consider all sides. When we look through the lens of love, we allow ourselves to crawl into the skin of another, to humble ourselves, to allow ourselves to be open, receptive and vulnerable enough to crawl into another's eyes, another's heart, another's soul. Love manifests as understanding. I seek first to understand before I seek to be understood. Let me be so willing to be love's presence, to be love's glasses, to be love's vibration, that I listen first to your perspective before offering my own. And then perhaps we together, whatever the energy or the object is between us, be willing to join hands and to shift to the left or to the right and to look at a different description, a different perspective. Breathe in and ask yourself the question as you exhale, 
What would love do? What would love do in the midst of disagreement? What would love do in the midst of difference? What does love do in the midst of different perspectives? Our world needs us to wear these glasses right now more than ever. Put them on. Be them. Be the microscope of God to find love when it's difficult to find. Be the telescope of God when it seems that love is so far away. Sit in the vibration of love for just a few moments of silence and stillness. Be the eyes of God. Josh Billings once wrote, there are a lot of people who mistake their imagination for their memory. I invite you to bring into this moment a past experience and let love be the energy bringing it in. Oftentimes our imagination has created such a story and our perspective is founded in a story. I invite you to join me in humbly setting that story down for a moment and be willing to walk across to the other side of the table and to look through another's eyes. No preconceived notions of what's on the other side, no judgments, about the other person, just a willingness to open the field of your perspective with the eyes of love and the eyes of God, not seeking validation, but seeking understanding. What I have found in life is that angry people will find reasons to be angry. Kind people will find reasons to be kind. People who are seeking love will find it. Those who offer understanding will also find it in return. Feel this energy as you allow your mind and your heart to just consider another's perspective. Sit there for a few moments, open and receptive, willing and vulnerable. Marcus Aurelius once said, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not a truth. 
join me now in remembering that we as spiritual seekers are always called to find that which is underneath the opinions the deeper truth the more real truth join me right now in allowing your mind looking through the lens of love with a determined heart and spirit to find harmony where maybe it had been missed to find unity or perhaps you or another was blind to it beneath the surface of our facts and our judgments there is a greater truth underneath and ours as spiritual seekers is to find the face of God Yes, in times of great joy, but no less in moments of discord or moments of story making. Look deeper, feel more deeply. Suspend the thoughts and allow yourself to be bathed in a different perspective Kristen Armstrong once wrote sometimes all it takes is a subtle shift in perspective an opening of the mind an intentional pause and reset or a new route to start to see new options, new possibilities. Breathe again with me. Stay right here. And just open a corner of your mind to the idea that not only could there be healing on the other side of love's view, that not only could there be a deeper sense of closeness to God, to family, to other, as a result of our willingness to walk around the other side and just look with understanding eyes, but that perhaps the world and the life that you desire is just on the other side of that act. Consider that. Join me in mind and heart right now in the awareness that perhaps the only wall between you and your best life is your willingness to see something differently. The only barrier between you and heaven on earth is your willingness to set down that which was once your fact, your armor, your weapon, your belief, to open up a field that there are perhaps many different perspectives about what is or what happened. Take this scripture into our next period of silence. Surely God was here and I did not know it. Surely God was here and I did not know it. Sit there for a few moments in the quiet.
It's such an interesting world we live in. We know and we claim and we affirm our unity, our oneness with all creation. Yet here we sit in a world so diverse, a painting with textures and colors, shapes and forms that seem so different and so varied. Could it be that the unity is found within that diversity? We don't all need to think alike or feel alike. Remember with me in this moment that no two people have the same experience of anything. Siblings who grow up in the same family have very different experiences. People hearing a song or watching a movie or going to a concert, they have very unique experiences. Could it be that each experience is a cell within the body of God expressed as the song, the movie, the experience or the concert. Just consider with me that it might be that if enough of us are willing to step into the shoes of another, the experience of another and humbly set down all the protective thoughts, all of the stories we've made up that maybe just maybe the healings on the other side. Einstein told us we cannot solve our problems at the same level of thinking that created those problems. And so we look at life, the places in our lives that maybe aren't working so well right now. The time has come to try a different way. To wear a different pair of glasses. So let our prayer be Love, use me. God, use me. I set down all the human thoughts, all the human resistance, all that's founded in the thoughts and perspectives and judgments of my mind. With gratitude, they served me. I may pick them up again, but for now, let me set them all down and let me be present to each cell in my environment, each perspective in my world, and let me listen, not with human ears, but with the ears of the Christ, of the Buddha, with the ears of a mystic and the eyes of a mystic, I behold that which the world has missed. People will show up the way we see them eventually. It's not always an easy journey. Oh, but the rewards are incredible. Individually and collectively. No two people meet the same you. Everybody brings a view of you.
but we know together tonight that if we can be the vibrating center of love's vision, of love's perspective, of God's eyesight and vision, eventually we meet each other back in God. We meet each other back home. You walk me home, I walk you home, and together we walk our nation, our families, our communities, our humanity, and our world back home. One perspective at a time, one shift at a time, one breath one moment, one heartbeat at a time. Love, have your way with me now. Love, have your way with us now. And so as we prepare to end our brief time together. I hope you stayed with me. And I hope that you're vibrating at a different place than perhaps when you came in. Open your eyes and meet once again, but seeing her with different eyes, maybe hearing each other differently feeling each other's soul in a more profound place. We take some miracles, quote, let every voice but God's be still in me now. But let now be the ever-present reality of how we live our lives, how we heal the planet. You be love's concert. You be God's movie. You be the Christ and the Buddha. And when we find each other and we are finding each other, the world is transformed. Thank you for being part of the team. Thank you for being part of the family. Thank you for being part of the great transformational journey that is being called for on the planet right now. I leave you with these thoughts and I hope that you will join me again next Wednesday night. We'll be here very much like this. It's the summer solstice. And so we'll be feeling our oneness with the, I want to thank Brandy for leading the meditation today. And I want to thank you who have tuned in or if you're watching this a week from now thank you for being a part of what's happening in the on the world in the world on the earth we will be back live we're at the first uh, wednesday night in august we will be back in the peace chapel setting up cameras so that we can broadcast from the peace chapel we'll have dinner there in the holy grounds cafe every night from six to seven and then seven o'clock a meditation and wrapping with the rev, which is one of my favorite things to do as we dip into the pool of each other's wisdom and share ideas and questions and answers in a very rich environment. That starts the first week in August. Until then, I hope you will join me and others who will be um, taking this format and this platform throughout the coming weeks. If you find value in what we do here on Wednesday night, I'm going to invite you to not just take it, but to be a part of the co-creative process and find a way to say thank you. Text to give is a very simple way to do that. I invite you to to text uh, to the number that, that uh, will be on screen when we finish here, and to find mail a check into the church and say that Wednesday night meditation meant something. What Brandy did last week, or I did today, or somebody does next week has value please consider supporting the work. 
our financial contributions are important. It's easy to do on Facebook if you're watching right now, or you can come by the church and say hi and say, I'm part of the team. We are putting on love's glasses together. And so let us know that this has meaning for this to continue. That's an important aspect of what we do here. And I invite you to participate fully and completely by letting us know that it's making a difference. I want to thank Sebastian and Wes for making this uh, possible to do from my home. It's wonderful to invite you into my home and to have your energy here. I thank you for the honor and being invited into your home or your space and to your heart. One meditation at a time, one breath at a time, we're changing the world. I wish you namaste and I'll see you uh, come see us on Sunday morning. Sunday morning is Father's Day and we've got a fun, fun message planned for you. And I've got a singer from California that's coming to visit me. I'm excited that she's going to be here as well. So call on that and say hi. For now, I wish you a blessed and beautiful evening. Thanks for joining me.